I was told that there was a secret stairway under the Malibu Pier where half-naked girls took selfies and there was a great surf break. So, oh, that guy just kicked a pigeon. That wasn't very nice. So I followed these guys, the guitar boy and his friends, out to the end of the pier. I could see the surfers off to, that's the Malibu Lagoon. That's the shoreline from out on the pier. And um, I couldn't find the stairs. That's a beautiful view of various shades of blue. That's the gift store. And there was a stairs there that went down to, uh, I guess, a launch for the, for the Coast Guard. This was the gift shop. There was no stairs inside the gift shop, but there was some stairs in the, at the very end of the pier, but that's not what I was looking for. There was a good tasting drink there that I did have that I was looking for. A cute bike. And that is another view of Surf Rider Beach. That's the, the break. There's three breaks out there. And I wanted to get there. The waves look great, really. It's one of the most iconic surf spots in the, in the United States. It's really a classic. So I began my search and I saw this was a jewelry store made out of an Airstream. Kind of cool. These two girls had the exact same ripped jean shorts on and they kept taking selfies. We passed the jean shorts girls and we <coughs> searched for the for the stairs. Somewhere was a stairway that led down to that down to the breaks, down to the beach. This was a uh, an expensive coffee shop uh, cafe that um, they wouldn't let you sit on those chairs. You had to order food or go away. Um, and it looked like a good menu. A lot of uh, tasty looking nine dollar coffees. Oh, that waitress told us to go around here, so we went around the front, um, past the Pier Beach Supply Store, and this looks like the Pier Beach Supply Store. Tennis balls for your dog, and toys for the kids, and all kinds of stuff. And there was, there's the stairs. Some guys with Birkenstocks were coming out, coming up. And we went down, and there was some half-naked half, half naked girls on the beach, as, uh, as was uh, in as we were promised by, you know, whoever. So we walked down the stairs and um, these girls just were unaware of everyone staring at them and they did this for, I don't know, hours possibly. And um, I actually asked if I could take their photos and they let me, but then uh, they didn't like them so they had to delete them. It was a whole ordeal. There's the pier from the beach, from the water. You can see the airstream up there. And the surf was like a four to five foot, maybe three to six foot waves, and they were just hammering the, uh, the wooden pylons. I don't know how that stuff lasts. Um, and these are beach houses. These are people that live right on the beach. Their houses are built on stilts and rocks. And uh, I guess they're guarded by, the, uh, by that guy whoever that guy is. Big surf. And the waves uh, kicked up the <laughs> stones. <laughs> getting wet, getting pounded. Well, not really pounded, just getting wet. Um, but I didn't want to get my, uh, my shorts wet. But they got wet. But if you look at the pier pylons and the pier stilts and the wood, it's all old and rotten and mixed with new. I, I have no idea. And they built the houses way over the, the the pier wood. Their stairs get soaked in water. It's kind of a cool place to live. I, I love living there. One big storm, I'm sure it's gone. But a lot of them are, you know, 50, 60 years old, so they've been there a while. This pier is 100 years old. This is, they call this uh, Drum Rock, no, Drum Beach. I think because the rocks make that sound right there. Saw the surfer walking by and figured, hey, let's follow this guy. He knows, uh, he knows where the action is. So we followed this dude for a while, and we came upon the first break at at uh, 
Surfrider Beach. A couple more girls taking selfies. There's a family taking uh, photos. That seemed to be the activity of the day. Selfies and surfing. And this guy, what is he wearing? He's a snorkeler. He's got his uh, he's got his outfit on, and he was strutting. I like to strut. He was uh, he was voguing down the beach. This yeah, there's a lot of guys carrying surfboards heading up this way. So this was the this was the right direction. And there's a lot of long boards. There's a lot of boards against the wall. So we walked up there to see. This guy was talking to his son. I guess it's a family of surfers. There's a lot of families there. Adam, I guess Adam didn't want to surf that day. It was a beautiful day. It was sunny and uh, the photographers were out photo photographing. It was a longboard day. There was everybody was was doing their best uh, Love that. Nice slow arc. Fall down, get up. I love it. Just going with the waves, going with the flow. Girl surfers, boy surfers, curvy surfers, skinny surfers. I like that guy in the background's got a nice lean back style. And another girl taking a selfie. Get those selfies. Get your Instagram photo. I guess they don't wear leashes, so when they crash, the boards wash in. That handsome surfer dude grabbed his board, and I'm sure he went back right out because it seemed like the lineup of guys waiting to surf was. There was a lot of guys. Each as each half hour rolled by, more and more surfers. I like this guy's knees in. Keep those knees together. Nice technique. Not kneed. Yeah, that's a good ride. It's a real long, uh, it's a real long break. People say, uh, the rumor is, oh, there, where's my girl? Ah! There she is. Um, people, people that go to Malibu and ride the uh, wave say that uh, just one wave is worth the airfare. People come from all over, but it seemed to be mostly locals, families, kids. I think this dude, yeah, he lost his board too. Now the good surfers, that was the first break, the good surfers went went up a ways to the second break which was, if you can look way down, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, way down at the end. Those waves were like twice the size of the uh, first, first uh, break there. I met this dude, a lifeguard named Dick. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, everyone uh, behaving out there today? <laughs> What's your name? My name's Dick Heinrich. And how long have you been of a lifeguard here? I I'm normally up at Zuma. I'm just a seasonal guard. I mean, this is 51 years. 51 years? Yeah, just a seasonal guard. Right. I'm just replaced. The guy that's in charge has just got off at five o'clock, so I'm on till eight. So if you save two lives a year, you're up to 100 lives. I usually save at least 100 a summer. Oh my gosh. I usually work up at Zuma Beach. 100 lives. Yeah. Wow. For 51 years. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Can't believe I said that to him. I got to get your guard stand here. <laughs> thank you for your service. Kind of a smart ass thing to say, but I was impressed. 100 lives a year for 51 years. Wow. Let's do the math, kids. That's 
5,000 lives, not 500 lives. Thank you for your service, Dick. Look at the guys out there waiting. The, uh, the, the swell hasn't come in. They're waiting for the next set. And the next set comes in. And this guy, what's he doing? Oh, hanging 10. Hanging 5. Squats down. Gets himself back in there. Some beautiful uh, carves. Oh, he hangs 10. Oh, backwards. Nicely done. That was a nice little ride. Guy had some good form. You can see the hills of Malibu in the background. The pier. It's beautiful. There was a girl with no uh, with no wetsuit on surfing. She was pretty good. I I think I'll, oh here's a nice uh well, this guy got it. No. Oh he's He's going for it too. He's sitting down, hanging five. Fun day. That's a dad teaching this kid. He has the arms out so the kid doesn't fall out. I saw that a couple times. Teach the boy at a young age how to surf, or the little girl, whatever it was. No, I guess she quit. Yeah, the other wave uh, crapped out. Nice, slow, relaxing wave. Malibu surf rider. Surf rider break. Fame, world famous. Malibu Beach, California. Two guys on the waves at the same time. Guy in the front has, I guess, uh, the right. I'm not sure how it works. First one up has the rights. But everyone seems to be really chill. No one, no arguments, no, no one getting upset. And I think we'll end it with this girl here. That was the surfer girl. A couple nice arches. Oh, she hangs five. Some sweet turns. And I'll call it a day. That was uh, my day at Surfrider Beach. Thanks for watching.